Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. How did you come to um, open up to these abilities and begin moving energy at so many different dimensional levels? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, as a child, I was uh, very aware of discarnates. I mean, I, I would have uh, beings literally sit on my bed and lots of different things would happen. And, and, and as I was growing up, um, I was doing things like seances and, you know, connecting with, communi communicating with the dead. And, and, and then probably in 1984 is when I actually really started i mean i had been doing lots i had channeled back in the 70s and and you know a lot of really scary things happened so you know learning all along the way good good things and not so good things and and um how to differentiate between negative and positive but i think 1984 is when i really jumped in and started started off doing psychic readings and then from there cuz i could i was I, I started to really see that you know everyone's the same only different and and then I began to really look deeply into the emotional component of people and, and you know, started learning to do, I, I um, started doing entity removal back at, back then. And everything just kind of exploded from there. And I actually had a center, it was called the Renaissance Center for 13 years. And at that center, we did a lot of uh, retreats. But basically, my life has really been about my own liberation. And mm. then, of course, Everybody else that came to me, or you know, whoever it didn't mean, for you know, a long time ago, Darius, you know, if you came in my presence, man, look out because I was gonna nail you. Okay, so I don't do that anymore, thank goodness. But people would like be afraid to be around me because, oh no, what is she gonna see? What is she gonna bring to the surface? Yeah, that kind of you would you would see so. things that other people couldn't see. You would see basically <laughs> what shouldn't be there, right? And and right. say, okay, it's time oh, yeah. to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear yeah. this person out. I'm gonna bring them into their divine light. Yeah, I mean, really, that's really it. And you know, it's scary though, Darius. Mm -hmm. People, it's very scary to for people to look inside, and it's even more scary to think somebody else can see what's in there that you don't know what's there. So people are like afraid of being seen. So yeah, yeah, it gets uncomfortable. And yet, you know, nothing's more important really than our liberation. So being willing mm -hmm. to look within is key. Let's talk about that liberation, because what are we mm -hmm. liberating from? A lot of people will say, well, I get it. It's good to be free. But what is it you've seen that, in your experience, has kept people in a certain form of bondage, if you will, from mm -hmm. the life they really want? Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, for me, liberation, I mean, from Darius, in the past, I was seeking enlightenment, okay? But I realized that wasn't going to happen, because I also watched and tracked the whole world, and not many people really were truly all the way awake, but for me, it's about liberation. And okay. liberation is, is being liberated from our, our thoughts, our reactions, our, our wants. I mean, it's like that attachments, and it's like, a, it's like being freed up from within, so your mind isn't having thoughts, you're not uh, re reacting to life, but you're more engaged in the world, and you're free to be who you are and the liberation the journey of liberation also is liberating you find yourself being more and more liberated as more and more frequencies and energies that are not you get cleared out of the way and that feeling of just being able just to you know just to really just show up and and be present without you know thoughts or, or energies or feelings or being shut down or locked down or afraid or inhibited mm -hmm. you know and it's not about, it's not like you're going to be an exhibitionist or something like that. No, it's the true divine be, light being that you actually are coming forth. And all the things that block that 
are what I clear, but basically all those energies are what keep people stuck. It keeps them bound up. It keeps them afraid. It keeps them locked up. It keeps them, you know, uh, just paralyzed sometimes. And even the illnesses and diseases that people have, it, it stems from emotional places. And, and so being liberated also means being liberated from the wounding, even from past lives and, and carryover but also being liberated from other people's energies, other people's emotions inside of the body. So basically, you know, everything's covering up that true divine light, and everyone is a divine being, and everyone is creator incarnate. Everyone, okay? And But it gets blocked and covered up with all the, you know, the past lives and the, the pain and suffering and, you know, just being in this the world. You know, we're in a dense yeah. frequency, and... And we hit this inertia when we come in and we forget who we really are. Of course, that's part of the plan, though. You're supposed to forget. And But it, it's really about remembering, you know, remembering who you really are. But you can't do that if you're just inundated with all these, you know, past lives and traumas and sufferings and abandonments and betrayals and unworthiness and all that good stuff. But it, none of it's really the truth, but, you know, but we feel it. And it's yes. real. I get it. I understand, you know. So for me, it's for that, about clearing. Yeah. I was just, finish your thought, Bonnie. Sorry. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's about clearing. It's about clearing the interferences because it's, because underneath everything, Darius, is mm-hmm. that divine light. I see it in everyone. I even see it in demonic energies. I've been tracking this all my life, mm-hmm. and I don't care how dark it goes, how black it goes, how far away it went from the light. Everything and everyone, every sentient being is a divine being, and it has that light, that true divine light. So for me, it's about clear the stuff, clear it, clear it, clear it, so the divine mm. light can shine forth. That's what it's all about. Wow. You know, it's amazing. You you basically read my thoughts because I was exactly going to go there. And I'll, I'll ask the question again maybe in a little different way, but for the person who – is having a really challenging week, month, or maybe even a challenging day. And you said you're gonna you help people remember who they are. I wrote that down. It was really important. Mm-hmm. Who are we? Who are we really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's just touch on one piece of who we are, and this is something everyone will be able to relate to. Okay. And it's that it's that aspect of us, the eternal, eternalness that we are. Okay. And that eternalness is that part of everyone right now who's listening to us that's participating. It's your awareness. It's the awareness that we all are, that we all have, that is is the same. We are all the same awareness. But it's that eternal part of us that never dies, that can never be hurt, can never be touched, can never be destroyed. And it's that it's really deep, deep, deep within. And we can all take our awareness and go there at times, you know, like even like you're saying, a day where we're having a hard time, well, there's an untouchable part of us, untouchable, mm. okay? Mm. It, you can't kill it. You can't hurt it. You can't damage it, okay? It's not possible because it's, it's that divine energy that is the divine light that everyone is. And we're all aspects of, the light, of creation itself. We're like the, you know, like the coming into physicality, in consciousness, well, that consciousness is creation, and creation lives through us, experiences through us, and the more we get out, get the stuff out of the way, then the more we have these ex- ex- incredible experiences in life, and feel that uh, that that divinity that we are. <clears throat> so, getting back to who we really are, we're, we are eternal, we are indestructible, we are, you know, we are the <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful light. Of, of love, the pure pure sense of love. I'm not talking the oh baby, oh baby. I'm talking that pure light of love. And that is within every single being everywhere. And like I said, it's like you can't hurt it. You can't touch it. It's like it's, it's, it's the part sometimes where people actually go when they're experiencing really hellacious, horrid, terrible experiences externally. Sometimes people literally go to that place. And in that place, you're untouchable. And, you know, it's like a, a place that everyone in some way, whether you're consciously aware of it or not, it exists because it is you. It is who we are. Mm. And 
you know, so when we, when we clear more, then we feel that even more. So what also happens in our life mm-hmm. is and the clearer we are in that beautiful light that we are shining forth, we can be in, in situations, we can witness things that in the past made it, might have made us like cringe or be horrified or you know, can't handle. And yet, yes. you know, part of it is, is to witness. I mean, if something is happening, to bear witness is also part of what God creation does. And, you know, without right or wrong, good or bad, and that's what begins to happen. We begin to lose that's good, that's bad, that's right, that's wrong. You know, mm-hmm. that's appropriate, that's inappropriate. You know what I mean? It's like we just, we begin to just be. I mean, in, in the higher teachings and, and uh, you know, it's like the thing around the isness, you know, being what the isness, what is, and that, because the isness is creation. You know, we might have yes. a day where it's storming, and we might have a day where the sun's out. Well, that's all creation. And yes. to be freed from our attachments about we like that one better, or this one's a bet. you know, I prefer this, we lose even the preferences. I mean, we still have some preferences, but... We, you know, we don't, ha- we won't have an angst in our body, which is so cool. Mm. But yeah, mm. basically, we are, we are eternal beings. We are forever, and nothing is going to touch us. And there's that place inside that I love to take people to. Unless I'm just wow. going to connect with that, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll just see. Maybe we'll do that during the clearing at the end of the clearing. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're gonna get access not only to a free gift that's gonna double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also gonna get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.